Weather Words with Frank Ward is brought to you by The Reporter, Delaware County's leading news source. Good day to everybody. In case you didn't catch me on Friday's live shot showing the flooding, I'll go back to Thursday when we were busy doing things and I was holding an umbrella. And all I kept saying was, wait till this afternoon, wait till this evening. And I ended my broadcast on that one saying that the weather service had upped the forecast to two to two and a half inches. Well, believe it or not, the weather service was short the amount we actually got. Because when I did the readings, 2.78 inches fell during that storm. And then I got a phone call from Lily and says, hey, meet me down behind where the bowling alley is. We'll take some pictures about the flooding. And you saw what happened. Believe it or not, the Susquehanna, the East Branch, the West Branch, they all flooded. Farmers fields looked like swamps and water was running over parts of Route 10. It was running over parts of 21 and it was a very, very wet day. I had said on that Friday morning that all we needed was a little less than a half an inch and we'd have all the rain we needed for the entire month of April. Well, when I took the reading on Saturday morning, which was really upsetting because Saturday morning there was a little trace of snow on the ground. It was like, give me a break. We had 47 hundredths inch more precipitation. So as of Saturday, we were already over for the entire month of April by seven one hundredths of an inch. There's 20 days to go in this month. That means every single thing that falls out of the sky is extra. And I had people saying to me on Saturday, I have water pouring out where I haven't seen for years. I know there was a spring under there, but I didn't see it flowing. Well, it was flowing. Why? We were over for February. We were over for March. We're over for April already. And the water has no place to go except out. And it's pouring out all over the place. A little less today. And I wish I could say this upcoming week, and believe it or not, we're going to be a nice warm up. If you looked outside yesterday, it was a little depressing. We had all sorts of little light snowfalls. It didn't amount to much and it was above freezing, so it didn't stick. But every time you looked outside, it was doing it again. And you just say, give me a break. Well, today, enjoy the sunshine you're standing in right now, because believe it or not, by late this afternoon, probably about five o'clock, it's gonna rain on us again. Into very early tomorrow morning. Okay, there's some more extra precipitation. Okay, put rain into Wednesday, put rain into Thursday. The day between all that, which is Tuesday, it's just going to be cloudy, so you won't see the sun. But you know what? The temperatures are going to go Tuesday into the mid-60s, Wednesday, Thursday into the mid to upper 60s. That's not bad. You might be able to open the windows on the not rainy side of the house, but let the house air out. The only nice day, at least at the moment, is going to be Friday. And then you might, if we're lucky, have an okay weekend. I'll update that on Thursday because I don't believe anything past about three or four days. It's usually always wrong and I'm the first one to admit it. You know, we pay some of these big meteorologists lots of nice salaries. And Brett has always said to me, we pay them all these big bucks and they're usually wrong. You know what? They're good for about three days. That's about it. The one thing I will tell you is the middle part of the country, the Dakotas, Wisconsin, uh, Michigan, are going to have an unusually heavy blizzard that's going to be starting later today, where they're going to be measuring snow maybe two or three feet and putting winds behind it of 60 to 70 miles an hour. And they're talking about drifts maybe over your head. A little late in the year for that for them too. So it could be worse. I'll take this because you know what? At least today I can do something. Everyone was picking up trees and things at the soil and water conservation down the end of the road here on Saturday. And they all said, well, I guess we'll get wet planting it. I planted the new blueberry bushes. I planted the peach trees. By then I was soaked. So today I'll plant the elderberries. I refuse to go digging holes in the ground when it's snowing on me, which was yesterday. It was just miserable. Okay. Give me some sunshine. Give me some points where the ground's going to firm up. You've noticed your grass is turning beautifully green. 
I don't think anyone will put a lawnmower on there for quite a while because you'll bury it somewhere. So anyway, here it is. It is spring and this week's gonna feel like it. I just wish we could have a week of sunny weather. I can't promise that because then I'd be lying. So enjoy yourself while you have it and we'll take it from there. Have a good week. To sponsor Weather Words with Frank Ward, call the reporter at 607-464-4009.